They have an announce. Tony Khan has an announcement coming up. Yeah, they're down the block from me uh, tomorrow. Actually, they're, they're like five minutes away from me at uh, UBS Arena. And Tony has a big announcement. Wait, are you going to the show? I'm not. I have a funeral. That's, That's right. why I you wasn't here. That. Yes, uh, last right. week I had to cancel. Somebody passed away. A uh, very close family friend. So we had to. Um, they're having a funeral tomorrow. So I'm not going. So. I don't know. What do you think about this announcement? Because there are things that are out there. Some of what you have talked about, which is this possible Saturday show. Um, there is a the idea of, of a London show for them to actually do a big show in London. There's the London other show things is happening. Hundred yes, percent. But they just and haven't. The they, they, could, they could. They could. They could name. You know. They they could give us a date. Maybe that's the announcement. Yeah. Is giving us a date. Uh, there's video game stuff. Like, if you were to, if you're a betting man, what would you put your finger on as far as what the announcement's oh, going to be? If I'm a betting man, I would have said most likely the thing that's the soonest, and that would probably be well. Actually, the video game is probably sooner. Um, the video game is coming out second quarter, as far as I know. Okay. That that was the that was the date I was told from the beginning. It's second quarter of this year, so it could be any month. We, we right? are in the second quarter. We are in the second quarter. Uh, you have that AEW collision on Saturday show that they're going to announce soon. I know that Dave had said that the date was in July. I saw a a, a earlier date. Okay. So it could be. I, I, I Listen, it, it's a one source thing, you know. Um, I, I saw mid-June possibly. So that's a possibility. But the Saturday show is definitely happening. Or the other thing is the London show, which is a little surprising considering the date. Okay. So the date that the date that you that you've heard. The date that I've heard, um I it, it, it surprised me. I mean, it, it's not gonna affect anything, but it was it was interesting to see to do a large event like that. Like going to the UK is a big deal. Going to London is a big deal. Going to London, you know, uh running there, there are options for stadiums. It's not much, right? What do they have to pick from? In 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 London? Yeah. What is it? The uh, Ovo Arena, right? Ovo, OVO Arena, which is in Wembley. That's one. O2 is another one, which I don't think they're going to run the O2. Um, you know, it's a 12,000 person. It's a second, I think, I think... Uh, OVO is the second largest uh, state build arena in London. It's the uh, second largest indoor arena. I mean, that's a possibility. Maybe O2 is a possibility. I don't know. Uh, but the date that I saw was was surprising to me. Mm, interesting. It's just a lot of moving parts for it to be when it is. <sighs> okay. Can this be any way CM Punk related? No, I, I will say it's not. That's my, it, it could be. I don't, I, I wasn't told that it's not, but I'm assuming it's, it, it, listen, would it be, if it is, it's great. I think that's great news for them. I know some people are not going to like that, but I think it's great news. Even after his hissy fit on Instagram. Yeah, I think so. Listen, I, I've said that we've, we've spoken about this so much. If they could make it work, why would they not? forget about forget about what the internet says forget about what you, what they've done if if they if all the parties come and they're like listen uh we, we our goal is to make this company the best that it is we'll put aside all our nonsense which they should these are grown millionaires all of them you know like you want to talk about like the fight and all that stuff these are all very wealthy very wealthy people that are professionals that have done this for many many years they understand the importance of having this promotion survive in, in the history of professional wrestling for, for the business. It, it's very important. So when, when you have something like this happen, it's very unfortunate, uh, you know, but he is that one guy that will draw them a million people a week. And we're seeing it happen. Until when, though? Because that's my question. Until when? Because as we've seen... I mean, he was drawn till the end. He never did not draw, right? But... At what point is he going to um, take a giant dump on the company again to where they 
put themselves in a position of, uh, you know, other talent <laughs> getting suspended because of scenarios, um, yeah. having to explain themselves out of things, um, having possible scrums uh, go out of control again. Like, that's the thing. I get if, you know, if you get CM Punk on his best behavior and his best business savvy mind of wanting to do business and that's it, it's an absolute slam dunk. But there's this giant variable about what he really thinks about his company or this company and the people who he could possibly do business with and that locker room and his boss that, you know, does he... Are you get? I just don't know if you're getting that version of CM Punk before things go awry again. Well, listen, that's my, if that, that would be Punk, my fear. If you're CM Punk, and, and I, I, you know, I would be thinking, and I'm saying my opinion, I have no idea what he's thinking, but I would be thinking, man, the way I left WWE really sucked. It wasn't on my terms. This is now I envision my career to end. The way that I left AEW is not how I envisioned. He has the wrestling itch. Where is he going to go? He's not going to impact. They can't afford him. He's not going to work for free. He's not, I mean, how much can he do in New Japan? He can maybe have a couple matches there, but it's not a consistently book, book thing. He can maybe have a couple matches and end his career like that. But if he wants to be competitive in the last couple of years of his career, he has no other options. There aren't, and not, not because nobody wants him, just because there's no place to go. So it's either Vince or, or Tony who's going to be more understanding and who's going to maybe give him what he wants. If he wants to work only a couple dates a year, maybe that could, they could work that out. They, I'm, I'm always the believer of if you can make it work and it makes sense for business, you have to do it. Put all your, your feelings aside and just get the, work, get the job done. I work with people I can't stand daily. <laughs> Suncast dislikes me tremendously and he's producing this show. He does. He very much does. I, I agree with very that. much. Yeah. Uh, okay, is it an itch to wrestle or is it an itch to be in control and manipulate and call the shots? That That is what I'm not sure. I'm not convinced, and you know, I don't know him, so uh, the, if I did, maybe I'd have a better thought process. But does he want to wrestle? Does he want to be a big wrestling star? Or does he want to come back to a scenario where he wins and he only wins and no one else really matters except for him. That that's kind of what I'm not sure about. I don't know, but you know, he didn't wrestle for many years and then he finally, he, he came back and it's hard. And that's a hard thing to let go, especially when you're not, you don't leave under your, under your terms. You leave under this insane, you know, he got hurt twice and he got into a fight backstage. You know, I, I he doesn't like Rocky would, three or he's never seen Rocky three. He's never That's seen the, Rocky three. The, the, I'm, I was really disappointed with that. One. Can you imagine that? That was the, that was the catalyst for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Only if this guy over the last 40 years saw Rocky three, <laughs> none of this would have happened. He would have, he would have been like, Oh yeah, Mox, that totally makes sense. That's what we're doing. And none of these fights would have happened. 